Hey everyone, in this video we'll be discussing this problem from Pathfinder Work Power Energy Check Your Understanding 1. So basically this problem, in this problem we have a flexible chain which is uniform, so it's lambda is given to be 0.5, it has uniform mass distribution and one end of it is fixed to a mass of small m and this mass of small m is projected up into the air with a velocity of 20 root 6 meter per second. So we are required to find the maximum height till which this ball rises. That's what we have to find. Okay. So let's say that it rises up to a height h. Right. Let's put no. And also in the question we have been given a constraint that in the a option the we have to take the length of the string to be length of the chain to be 60 meters and in b option we have to take it to be 30 meters let's just put no constraint on the chain first and let's just find out till what height will this mass m reach so let's say it's height h up to up to which mass m rises so at this point the net velocity will become zero so we can just conserve energy right so the initial energy is just half mu square because only the mass m had velocity right so that would be half mu square and finally the potential energy of this mass m becomes mgh and the potential energy of the chain would be the mass which uh, the weight which is lambda gh times the height of the center that is h by 2. so if you solve this uh, you'll get the answer for h to be 40 meters so basically the ball rises to 40 meters if there was no constraint if the length of the string was greater than 40 meters which it is in option a right because it's 60 meters so there would be 20 meters on the ground and 40 meters on the air so that's how it is in option number a now in option b it's given that the length of the string is just 30 meters so what will happen is after the ball rises to a height of 30 meters what will happen is the ball plus the chain system will have some velocity v right and then they then they as a system will move up in the air and the deceleration would be just g so we can just use kinematics to find the extra height that the system just extra height that the ball just covers so again, we are going to use energy conservation. So initially only the small m mass had kinetic energy. And finally, this small m mass, including the lambda L mass of the chain, will gain some velocity V, which we have to find. And the potential energy of the mass is going to be M into G into the H, which is L in this case. And the potential energy of the chain will be lambda Lg, which is its mass times the height of the center, which is L by 2. If you solve this, you'll get the velocity of the system to be 15 meter per second. And which means the extra height we can just find using kinematics to be V square by 2G because the deceleration is G, right? And if you solve it, you'll get the answer as 11.25 meters. So after achieving a height of 30 meters this ball will go an additional height of 11.25 meters and the final answer for the maximum height reached is 41.25 meters for the second option so that was it for this problem so if you guys have any doubts regarding any question in pathfinder erodov or morin you can just comment down below and i'll try to upload a solution video so that's about it for this video thanks for watching guys